The people that told me, no matter what you do in life, son, don't give up. Don't give up. Fight through the pain. Fight through the pain. If you lose, find a way to win again. If you're hurting this side, turn it around and make it something greater. Ignite the fire in your soul. It's okay to be human. My emotions and my sorrows, I know how to control them. I understand how to use them. I understand that through every loss, I turned it around and I made it something greater. I made it more stronger. I built something. I truly am building an empire of passion, strength, wisdom, and a victory is just waiting for me. Am I done? Absolutely not. Am I stronger? Every day of my life. Every breath that I take, I get stronger. You can be stronger. So yes, my pain became my passion. It has taught me to teach others to carry on, to never give up, to keep reaching. And no matter the losses, no matter the circumstances, you don't give up on your life. You keep living, you keep fighting. Because even through the losses, there are always great victories. No matter your losses, no matter your rejections, no matter your failures, keep living. No matter what you have going on in your life right at this moment, keep living. Because through the pain, you can bring forth your passion. Let it resonate through your soul, through your veins, and your mind, and press on. So today, and for the rest of my life, my pain will always be my passion. I know that I have life yet to live. For my mother and father, I will live. For my wife and children, I will live. For those that trust and believe in me, I will live. But this is all I can do. And there is no turning back. So ladies and gentlemen, I say to you all, continue to live your life. Let your pain be your passion. And even if you're hurting inside, turn it around, make it burn through your veins, let it burn through your heart and soul, and let it resonate and be powerful than you've ever been in your life. My pain will continue to flow, but I understand that through my pain, my passion will continue to manifest itself into greater ideas. So ladies and gentlemen, you continue to be strong. You stay encouraged. You don't look back. You continue to look forward. You keep your head up high. You keep rising above the clouds. The key is what we do in our times of pain. Pain will change us. Heartache, loss, disappointments, they don't leave us the same. Now how the pain changes you is up to you. You can come out bitter or you can come out better. You can come out defeated, giving up on your dreams, or you can come out with a new passion, a new fire, excited about the new opportunities in front of you. All of us experience pain. My challenge, don't just go through it, grow through it. That difficulty is an opportunity to get stronger, to develop character, to gain new confidence. Anybody can give up. Anybody can let it overwhelm you, but you know what that's doing? Wasting your pain. That pain is not there to stop you. It's there to prepare you, to increase you, to develop you. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year, but eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. 
I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. Somebody said, I don't go home, I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't going to die. At the end of pain is success. You're not going to die because you're feeling a little pain. So don't, don't worry about a little pain. Every single person who has ever done anything worthwhile or exceptional or difficult or extraordinary, everyone encounters difficulties. There is no easy road. It does not exist. It is impossible. We all go through hard times. We all go through depression. We all do go through doubt and, and then moments in your life where it's really difficult and you're trying to figure out what the, your path is going to be. It's hard as but that is what makes you a person. And those difficult moments are what build your character. Every transformation always gets worse before it gets better. It's supposed to be that way. Keep going. Like, keep going. Don't quit. You're already in pain. You're already struggling. Like, get something for your pain. It doesn't make sense to go through pain and then not get none on the other side of it. Once you find out you want, regardless of what it is, and you combine the mind and the body together, that's when life gets exciting, guys. It's not the potential of the individual. It's not the genetics. It's the perseverance. If you constantly keep throwing shit against the wall, eventually something will stick, guys. Never give in to what you want. Start small. Start with changing tomorrow morning, just tomorrow morning. And then move on to the next day and the next and move your life to a better place one little step one little victory at a time we all fall down in life the question is who gets back up you go after and you give it all you have if you lose at least you try man when you guys find a fear that fear will either create you or destroy you i love fear the reason why behind every fear is a person you want to be Fear is self-imposed, meaning it doesn't exist. You create it, you can destroy it too. If you face your fears, guys, you will realize it's not that big. You face your fears, you become the person you want to be. We have so many doubters. We have so many of those people that say no and you can't do it, that's impossible. But when you start doubting yourself, that's very dangerous. Because now what you're basically saying is, is that if my plan doesn't work, I have a fallback plan, I have a plan B. And that means that you start thinking about plan B and every thought that you put into plan B, you're taking away now that thought and that energy from plan A. Thank you.